All right, love you too. Drive safe. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. I was just, uh, just, uh, hey, did I make a mistake? Did I make a mistake in saying drive safe? Or should I have said drive safely? Drive safe? Drive safely. Well, you know what? This might be a confusing thing for a lot of English learners. You know, it's, uh, it's kind of weird. You, you, you buy a grammar textbook, you know, you, you look in your grammar textbook under the, the, you know, the section on adverbs, and you're learning all about adverbs and how to add L-Y, like safely, you know, drive safely. Yeah, okay, I understand. I should add L-Y. But then you hear a native English speaker talking on the phone, and he doesn't say L, he just says drive safe. What? That, that doesn't make any sense, right? So this can be confusing. This, this, this idea of adding L-Y to adverbs, you know, it could be confusing. And so I just want to make a lesson. I want to make this video for you in case you're confused. If you're thinking, do I add L-Y or do I not add L-Y? Well, you know what the answer is? The answer is that uh, very often in casual speech, native English speakers take off the L-Y. You know, it's very, very often. Okay, so it's actually your choice. If, if you want to speak casual English, you can take off the L-Y in a lot of situations. For example, with, with the word safe, safely. Drive, drive safe. Now, because that's like a, a casual situation, right? When, you, when you're talking to your friend or your wife or your husband or something, you know, it's a, it's a casual situation, right? So you'd never say, you'd never say drive safely. You know, you'd just say uh, drive safe, right? So in that, in that situation, you know, it's, it's, it's a much more common thing to just to take, to take off the L-Y, okay? But if you're in a formal situation, Right. Let's say you're talking to the queen or someone. I mean, you could say drive safely. You know, I might say that. I might say drive safely. I might not say drive safe because drive safe is is just a bit more casual. OK, so that's the difference between between these. And you can choose. Right. I mean, it's it's like saying oh, just about dropped my phone. <laughs> I felt it sliding down my leg and I caught it right in time. Stay safe, phone. Don't fall off the table or slide off my leg. So, okay, so you have those two options, right? You can use more formal English. You could say, hi, how are you? Or you could say, hey, what's up? What's up? You know, both of them are, are appropriate for, you know, for the situation. So, you know, grammar textbooks might say it's wrong to say drive safe, you know, but, but in, in real English, you know, nobody would, nobody would be talking, you know, to their husband or their wife and say, you know, drive safely. It might, you, yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe some people, but, but for most people, it would just be drive safe. Okay, so here are some more examples, you know, like, like slow. If you say, I hate, I hate drivers who drive slow, or I hate drivers, I hate people who drive slowly, which is right. Well, technically, it's right to put the L-Y, right? Because we're talking about the verb. How are they driving? They're driving slow, slowly, Right. So because it's it's because we're 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 modifying that verb. Right. We're trying to describe that verb. That's why we should add the L.Y. OK, so the right answer is, you know, I hate people who drive slowly. But, you know, like for most situations, a lot of situations, people would say people would say, you know, you know, that guy's driving slow. That guy's driving slow when they should. You know, the grammar textbook would say driving slowly, but you know, in normal English, a lot of people would take off the L-Y. Or here's another example, you know, my head hurts so bad. My head hurts so badly. Which one is right? Well, again, it should be, we should put the L-Y, right? Because it's an adverb, right? My head, my head hurts so badly. But in, in, you know, <laughs> normal situations, probably most people would just say my head hurts so bad. My head hurts so bad, okay? You answered that question wrong. You answered that question wrongly. Which one? Wrong or wrongly? Because the verb is answered, right? You answered wrong, wrongly. I don't know, like, 
probably most people wouldn't most people would just say wrong. It would sound weird. You know, sometimes doing the right thing in English sounds weird. You know, that's that's why that's why when you're trying to learn real English, it's important to know sort of what the official correct way is. Like for example, if you're take if you're doing an English exam or you're you're writing, you know, an essay or some kind of more professional work, it's important to know that. But then for like casual English, it's important to know that kind too. So really my advice here is that it's good to know both. That's why I want to explain this to you. And it could be confusing, right, for a lot of people if they don't if they don't hear this that, that there are two options. There's not just one that's right. I mean, maybe there's one that's technically right, but everybody everybody says drive safe or hey, you answer that wrong. You answer that wrong. Yeah, you know, in that case too, we would just take off I think I'm losing my voice. Better make this lesson quick. Go drink some water. Better wet my whistle. Right? Remember I taught you guys that idiom wet my whistle. That means if your throat is if if you feel thirsty and your your throat is a bit dry, then you need to wet your whistle. Ooh, he's a look look at that guy running. He's running really quick. He's a you know, he's a he's a quick runner. Now, if it's like an adjective, okay, then Adjectives don't have ly like that, right? So he's a quick runner. If we say that, the word quick then is an adjective, right? But if we say he runs quickly, he runs quickly, then the then we're describing the verb run. In the other one, the adjective we're describing the noun, right? He's a quick runner. We're describing what kind of runner he is. He's a quick runner. But if we say he runs quickly, then we're talking about the verb. He how does he run? He runs quickly. Okay, so then you should put the ly. But again, in a lot of situations, people would probably just say he he runs really quick. You know, he can think really quick. He's quick on his feet. Okay, that's an idiom. If you're if you're quick on your feet, that means you can you can think really quickly. Are you quick on your feet? I'm not quick on my feet, unfortunately. But maybe I can. Maybe it's something you can learn. I don't know. I hear some people in the hall. They better be quiet. They can't hear me teaching you English. This is top secret, top secret business, right? Me teaching you English. Okay, so um, arrogant. Now you could say, hey, that guy, you know, he's walking around. Look at that bully walking around all arrogant, right? Well. It, again, now we're talking about walking around. It should be he's he's walking around arrogantly, right? But again, you know, for words like this, right? Safe, slow, bad, wrong, quick, arrogant. You should add the ly, but it's it's common to take it off. Okay, so with with words like that, so very often it's optional, not for every adverb, right? A lot of adverbs don't end in ly. For example, the word late, that's an adverb. And actually, that's a confusing. This that's a confusing thing. Let me talk about that for a second. Okay, if you say I arrived late, my my plane arrived late. Okay, that's the right one, because that's the adverb. You you can't say I arrived lately. Okay, then that that's a different word, right? Late and lately are two different words. They're not different forms of the same word, right? So when we're talking about slow and slowly. Or safe and safely, we're talking about the same word. It's just a different. It's just a different functioning as a different form. Maybe one's an adjective, the other is an adverb, but it's the same thing, right? But for this one, late and lately, they're two completely different words. Okay, so you know, my plane arrived late. That's one idea, right? To be late. Now another idea is you could say, you know, I I haven't been there lately. I haven't been there lately. Hey, do you want to go to uh, want to go catch a movie with me? Want to go catch a movie? That means do you want to go to the cinema with me? Do you want to go to the theater? Do you want to catch a movie with me? You could say, yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to catch a movie with you. I haven't been to the. I haven't been to the theater. Late. Well, how would you say it? Yeah, you could say I have. I haven't been. I haven't been to the movies lately. I haven't been to see a movie lately. Okay. So then that that word lately. It basically means like like recently, right? I haven't I haven't gone to see a movie recently. Have you gone to see a movie recently, lately? Boy, I don't know when was the last time I was in a theater. 
or cinema. In, in some parts of the world, they say cinema. In North America, we tend to say theater. Hey, John, uh, sorry about that. I'm, I'm going to arrive late. I just uh, haven't been to this area for a while. I haven't been here lately. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to arrive a few minutes late to the theater. So uh, just start the movie without me. I'll, I'll join you. First row, right? You don't want the first row? Oh, you don't want to crane your neck looking up? You know what crane your neck means? Crane your neck? Like if you sit in the first row in a, in a cinema, and you have to look up. That's, it's called craning your neck. Craning your neck. Uh, hey, did you know that? Smash like if you didn't know that word. Craning. Craning your neck. So, so yeah, you, so you could see in that example, right? I use late and lately. Hey, John, sorry, I'm going to arrive late. I haven't been to this area lately. I'm lost. I'm lost. I can't remember how to get there. So I, I'm going to be late. I haven't been here lately. So those are two different words, right? So sometimes you have to be careful with, with adverbs. You know, some adverbs take L-Y. Some adverbs don't take L-Y. For example, the word well. You know, how are you doing? I'm doing well, thanks. Right? That's an adverb that never takes L-Y. Right? So some adverbs... Ah, I just dropped my phone. <laughs> Good thing I have a case on it. Let's see. Did I break it? Nope. Still intact in one piece. Thank, thank you, Spiegan. Spiegan? I don't know. That might be the case, the name of the manufacturer. Thank you, Spiegan, for saving my phone. Okay, so, so some adverbs can be confusing. Some take... I'm just going to put my phone there so I don't drop it again. Okay, so, so some adverbs take L-Y... Some adverbs never take L-Y. For some adverbs, you know, it's your choice. Like I said, it's sort of based on the situation. So, you know, I hope, I hope this, this, this helps you. You know, like I said, for some English learners, this might be confusing. But at least now you know, even if you don't understand, you know, you know when to use L-Y, when not to use L-Y, at least you know now why it's confusing. At least now you have a little bit of, uh, a little bit of understanding that that in some situations you can take off the ly and that's why maybe when you hear a native english speaker talking on the phone you know you you don't have to you don't have to 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 criticize him and say oh his grammar is speaking you know speaking wrongly he's speaking wrong he's speaking wrongly right now you know it's just it's a it's just a situational thing you know just like the difference between hi how are you and hey, what's up? So, you know, it might be wrong, technically wrong to take off the LY. So if you're doing any kind of like important work, writing or speaking professionally, if you're like a, a public speaker, it's good to, to use the right thing. It's good to know how to, how to use formal English, correct English. But it's also good to just know how to use casual English. So you can tell your loved one, hey, drive safe. Okay, so that's your tip for today, guys. Hope you're having a great day. Hope that's helpful for you. Stay safe, stay happy, and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. <laughs> Take care.